Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the spacing requirement in the top reinforcing at the supports at a continuous edge. So there's going to be three types of require spacing requirements we're going to be looking at. So far we've seen in the previous videos, the mid span or yet yeah, with mid span, which will be the bottom reinforcing. Now we're going to be looking at the top reinforcing and there's two types of edges you can get. You can have a continuous edge like this edge here and this edge here for slab one, where it continues on to the next slab. So that'll be in the top and that's at the supports. Or you can have a discontinuous edge. So over here and over here, this slab doesn't continue and you're going to have to have different steel requirements for that. Okay. So as I've said in the previous video, we've found the bottom reinforcing, which is in the middle of the slab. Now we're looking at the top of the slab, which is in hogging. So middle was in sagging. Top, the top reinforcing is hogging now. And we're looking in this video at a continuous edge. So at this edge over here. So the formula or what you have to do is found in 6.10.3.2. So 6.10.3.2, the design bending moments. If you come down to section B, it says, I'll zoom in. The negative design bending moments at a continuous edge shall be taken as 1.33 times the mid span values in the direction considered when they're taken from table 6.10.3.2a. Okay. Um, just that table is just what we found the moments from the mid span moments from the start. So we've done, we took it from this table. There's a number table there we didn't use, which is for the second part of that clause um, over here. All right. So don't worry about it. At the end of the day, we're just taking 1.33 times the mid span value. So what we need to do is we need to find the new design moment for our top reinforcing. So we know that M star, and I'll call this bottom reinforcing. We found that in the previous videos. If I can find that for you guys, that was 37.6 kilonewton meters. All right, let me try and find that though, just to show you. So 37.6 kilonewton meters. So here it is, we found in the previous video